Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So, I noticed a lot of the comments, especially first thing in the morning when a video uploads, uh, a lot of you guys enjoy the videos with a cup of coffee, breakfast, uh, some other interesting things that, uh, hey, not here to judge, but uh, that's uh, that's cool. Obviously, we you know I upload the videos and I at least put them live at 4 a.m. Pacific time, so they're early uploads consistently. And uh, yeah, I have to warn, you guys out there that uh, enjoy your coffee, your breakfast, whatnot, first thing in the morning. If you watch this video through the entire thing, you may be late to work or wherever you have to go this morning. Uh, this is going to be one of the longest videos I've ever uploaded on the channel. And uh, it's similar to a video style we've done before, the 30 minutes uncut, raw footage, straight fishing. Um, but today, we're going to make it one hour. So one hour, we are on the California Delta. It is 7.06 a.m. And uh, yeah, I haven't made a cast yet. I haven't been to this particular area in probably about a year. So we're going in without any um, true expectations. We obviously know these fish should be shallow, should be spawning. So I figured this would be a good time of year to uh, do one of these videos. So that is the plan today. One hour straight kayak fishing on the California Delta. Uh, we'll probably run both cameras, of course. We'll figure out how we, you know, sort that for the video. Uh, but one hour, and at the end of the day, we'll meet back in the truck, and obviously we'll recap the rest of the day. But let's see. Turn this guy on. 7.07 now. Set an alarm for... 7.807. 8.07. Will be our one hour alarm and i was gonna do a two hour video but i don't know 30 minutes to two hours kind of a big jump so we're just gonna do the hour long video today if you guys like it if you want me to try something longer let me know but uh one hour here we go okay start with the cheddar bait There's fish already on the craft here. Those look like crappie or something. Oh, and by the way, guys, I will put timestamps in the description of notable events that happen throughout this hour. Hopefully, some fish catching. It's never a guarantee, though. A lot of activity. That's one thing I've learned on the Delta this year, especially doing some winter fishing is, I used to think having a graph wasn't needed or necessary on the Delta, but it totally is. Not just for fish activity, but bottom composition, grass versus rock versus sand, you know, stuff like that. There's a bunch of striper in the area, to be honest with you. I'm seeing a ton of birds. Actually, that's what they did last year. There was a bunch of striper running through here. Just the camera every so often.
you guys can see that in the distance, but I see one, two, three, four, five heron lining the bank. Obviously a place where bait runs through pretty thick. I'm sure there's striper around. Another question I get all the time is water temp. And I would tell you, but I don't know. It says 15 degrees right now, water temp, Fahrenheit. I'm gonna say it's probably off. Feels like around 60 though. I think I just need to update the, the firmware or something and that should correct itself, but that's usually why I don't provide water temp, because I don't know exactly. Yet to catch a frogfish so far this year. We're still in search for our first frogfish. a dead end? can't tell. <laughs> thought I'd be able to get through here. Okay. It's kind of like a maze back here to be honest with you. Depending on the growth of the vegetation. Well, this is a dead end. Actually, you know what? That was our path through there usually from last year, but I don't think we're gonna get through. Pretty thick. Dang it. Good to know though. I'll tell you the other purpose of coming out today was a little pre-fish. Got a tournament in a few days. 
Yakabass event number three, open launch. It was originally scheduled for Berryessa, but as of right now, you cannot have a tournament at Berryessa. So they made this one an open launch. You can fish Berry. You can fish Malones, Don Pedro, and then California Delta. So that is why I am here. Or partly the reason I am here today is to check this spot out and see what's going on. Ideally, I'd like to fish the Delta. Those other places are going to be, I mean, you really can't go wrong with any of the other places, but I think the Delta, you have the best potential of catching like a high 90s bag, you know? So, Berryessa would be the safe bet, I think. Berryessa, we could probably go catch, you know, 85 inches, no problem. But I think cracking 90, 95 inches at Berryessa will be tough. That being said, I think the Delta could be very tough too, just because it's always changing. But the potential for that just giant for me at least, is much better on the Delta than anywhere else. All right, I have to change plans here a little bit. This is, um, I mean, I could maybe get through right there. I don't know, it's pretty thick. Dang it. Okay, we might have to go around. Try not to waste too much of your time or this video traveling. At least I didn't want to, but it's part of it sometimes. Even though we're fishing out of a kayak, I tend to move quite a bit. I think right up here we can jam to the other side, which was our kind of plan initially to fish through. Sunglasses, the sun's starting to peak up. Yeah, we should be able to get through over here.
go. Got an outgoing tide all morning too, so started basically right at a high tide. I think we're gonna have about a two and a half foot drop today. So it'll get pretty low at low tide this afternoon. Actually, that's kind of the plan is to uh, wait for that tide to drop and, uh, and start looking. As mentioned with that tournament, I'm definitely not going to rule out some sight fishing, especially if we can find a giant or two on a bed. And low tide's just obviously an easier time to spot them. As you guys can probably see, if you haven't ever fished the Delta, dude, it's an amazing fishery, but it can be one of the toughest fisheries too. I think one of the problems is like, you know, it just, everything looks good. Everything looks fishy and that's just not the case. So everything looks good and you can just be wasting a lot of time unless you really know your way around out here. I don't, I'm learning still. But it's, I don't know, it just, more often than not, it seems to be feast or famine out here. Even looking at like tournament results, you either crush it or you blank. <laughs> Some giant fish out here though, that's for sure. I think some of the tournaments this year have already weighed in a couple of teeners from the Delta. Yeah, that just says something right there. be back here. I hope. I hope, I hope. Got a couple of days to pre-fish the Delta for that tournament. So the idea was that we'd have a decent day today and then tomorrow we'd come back and try to expand on our pattern and like like I said definitely go look and there's gonna be fish spawning and there's probably a couple of giants somewhere I would love to try to find them for tournament day oh I felt like a bite This does look froggy, right? It definitely looks froggy. Wait, 
might need to warm up a little bit, but gosh. That's gonna go through. Put on a half ounce tungsten. So this isn't really the best punch rig. Just think I'm gonna fish this more around the toolies.
good over here. Oh, come on. Pretty shallow. Get real shallow. should be spawning over here. That's where we found them last year. It's kind of hard to see them on this higher tide, but I know they're there. It should be. Ooh. Might be time to bust out the finesse. <laughs> We haven't seen one yet. That's interesting. I 
we got to wait for this tide to get a little bit lower. These fish become a little bit more visible to us. This bait should tell us if they're here or not relatively quickly. So hard to see anything. looking at me. Look. They don't like me. <laughs> this is probably where they want to be. Catching little bait fish up in here. And I'm in their territory. Man, there we go, finally. Well, I don't think we skunked. Yeah, we knew the Sanka would work. I was just hoping we'd catch him on something else today, quicker. Probably a little male, just like we thought we'd find here. All right, no skunk. Good old five-inch Senko, wacky style. Guarantee that one was on a bed. Another one right on the, f ooh, I thought we had a fish right there. <laughs> yeah, I think every time we've done one of these, we've at least caught one fish. There hasn't been any like epic 30-minute runs, but I think we've caught maybe three or four at the most. For an hour, you'd expect we could at least tie that, but I don't know. It's hard to do. I'll probably do another one at some point, like a post-spawn one, maybe like Berryessa or somewhere where we can get on some topwater fish. I think that would be fun. It's usually a sure bet you'll get on some fish. So that's a good sign. This is probably going to be, like I said, I was hoping it would be my tournament spot. That's just one fish, though. We did catch a seven pounder here last year, though. Female. It was like a staging fish.
Dude. May not want the chatterbait today, I don't know. Might not be the right area for a chatterbait. So if I had my one ounce punch rig tied on, we'd be punching this right now, but no way that half ounce is getting through there. It just hit like a root or a branch. The heck? Maybe it wasn't a bite. Felt like a bite. Back to the Senko. Sad thing is, I know I've probably rolled over a bunch of fish already. <laughs> I guarantee I'll prove that point later when I come back through here at low tide and look around.
other thing, like I said, if, I mean, who knows what's going to happen today and tomorrow. If today's a dud, we'll probably go to another spot on the Delta tomorrow, but if that's a dud too, I bet you, well, I don't bet, I'm going to go to Berryessa. Is kind of our plan B. That very well could happen. I mean, there are giants in Berryessa, no question. I just, I don't know, man. I just, I really would prefer to fish it on the Delta, the tournament. We'll just have to see, though. Dude, am I blocked again up here? It better not be. We gotta get through here. I hope we can get through up here. I'm not sure. It's gonna be interesting. Dang. Path over there. Oh my gosh. That's why fishing history can be challenging on the Delta because it can look completely different a year from now, you know? Just this was not here last year. This obviously just kind of floated in or whatever and grew and now it's blocking this little back channel. I think we should be able to get through there. One more cast. Just trying to plan this here. I don't want to spend 10 minutes trying to fight through, <laughs> trying to get through somewhere. It's a uh, Kind of a waste of time for an hour video, but I think we might be able to jam through there, just force our way. Let's give it a shot. can't get through, I apologize, guys. I don't know if you guys can see some of these rocks, but this is where they usually spawn. Oh man, look at these rocks, look so good. You know what? This might be tough. This might be tough. If I get through this section here, we're good. I'm gonna push it that way.
you know what? I don't think it's gonna happen. <sighs> wow. You know what? It's just too dense right here. I can't push through. That sucks. I think the other side maybe. It's more like area of the vegetation, but it's not as thick. I guess this is why we do these hour long videos. I mean, so you guys can see it all, the good, the bad, the ugly, the struggles. I think sometimes, you know, and I'm guilty of it myself, we uh, make our videos or outings look like flawless and just perfect. And that's obviously far from the case. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff you don't see through the magic of editing. What time is it? 7.54. Oh man, it's thick over here too. Dang it. I think we'll be able to get through. It's gonna be tough for about a minute, but just bear with me. That one little stretch we can probably get through. Give us about 10 minutes left to, to finish this video off. Man, maybe I should have done two hours. Big jam right through high speed. Okay. That's good. There we go. Whew. Oh, freedom. Let's try to at least catch one more fish before we, uh, before we depart. Seven fifty-six. A little more than ten minutes left. Hopefully, they're just loaded over here. I didn't even feel that bite. That's a bigger one-ish. Okay. Another male, little fella. I'd say most definitely on a bed somewhere. Where's your girlfriend though? That's what we're looking for. Looking for the big mamas. Gotta go with an O-ring on the Senko. O-ring, little skin hook. It'll save you a lot of baits. I think one time last year we had a trip actually on the Delta. I think I called the video the one Senko trip. Literally fished one Senko all day. I think we caught like 10 or 12 fish too. Just lasted. So, get some O-rings if you don't have any.
Might have to. Oh, there we go. Man, something bumped it. How do you not eat the thing? Oh, come on. It's just about to say this little dead tule patch. I might have to tie on the one one ouncer. That's very punchy looking. Something just smacked my worm. Get it again. Oh, that's, that's one of the females right there. There's a female. Could be net-worthy. Oh, God. It's a five-pounder. That's a tournament fish right there. Oh, man, oh, man. The love-hate of catching a fish and practice a big fish in practice a tiny little hook right there always oh, stick some good okay that's a nice one baby that's a big girl that's a female for sure probably on a bed Hope she goes right back, I don't know, probably five pounds. Just let her go. Hopefully she goes right back to her bed. Make a little note. Get some new waypoints. We'll call them these orange guys. Should be a big fish there. Hopefully Saturday. Hopefully she stays. Nobody takes her. 801, what do we got? Seven minutes left? Eight minutes left? Okay, this video is becoming interesting. It's certainly a good one. Noticed two, I think two out of three of those bites. I mean, I didn't feel them bite. The line was just heavy. Just exactly what's what's happening over here is or anywhere really when you're fishing a Senko like this you're just throwing it on a bed and they're just eating it they don't need to move they just eat it it's not like they're ambushing a bait so yeah a lot of the time you don't you don't feel the bite you just kind of gotta pay attention to your line sometimes it'll jump a lot of the time it'll just be heavy. Not sure how much more I want to beat this bank up. <laughs> That's kind of what I needed to, needed to see as far as tournament practice goes. Is a big fish. I mean, let's face it, there's big fish everywhere on the delta this time of year. And really any lake. but I wanted to find a, a nice little stretch of big fish. I'm sure there's more.
there. You know, let's go. Let's just do it. Let's finish our day with the chatter. We got a few minutes left. Let's see if we can put one on the, in the boat with a chatter. close oh, saw one right there saw a tail right there just saw a tail get the camera out All right, so one hour, 8.07. Actually, what did we catch, three fish? Not bad, not bad for an hour of fishing. Uh, obviously, we're gonna keep going. It's, you know, the day is still very young, but uh, yeah, at the, uh, well, we'll go right to it, but we'll meet up at the truck and we'll kind of recap how the rest of the day went. We're gonna cover a lot more water, look for some fish. So yeah, let me know, uh, or actually no, we'll talk about that in the truck. Okay, see you guys, I guess, in a second. All right, and we're here. Wow. <laughs> so it is uh, 3.46. Yeah, we spent uh, quite a long time out there, about seven and a half, eight hours after we left. And I'll tell you what happened. About 15 minutes after we, we turned that hour hour off, kept throwing that wacky Senko, get another bite. That, you know what, let's just play that clip. Oh, that's another good one, I think. Oh god, another giant. Dude, it's even bigger than the first one. Golly. It's a seven pounder. Well, another 15 minutes has gone by. 8.30, that's all it took to find where we're fishing the tournament. <laughs> So thick. Be a six pounder probably. I don't want to have them out of the water too long, but yeah. 
Practice days are always the best. Go back to your bed, please. So right there, that, that fish sealed the deal. I mentioned to you guys in this video, this was also going to serve as kind of a practice for a tournament we have in a couple of days, which is an open launch, open lake style event. Four different bodies of water. The Delta is one of them. We're, we're coming back here on tournament day in a few days. We caught a few more fish on the Senko. We kept fishing. Um, we made a, a pretty good run to a marina. I wanted to check it out. I've never been there before. We found some fish. We caught a few fish again on that Senko, right where they should be, but I just wasn't seeing a lot of fish. The water was dirty back there. The size uh, it wasn't very exciting for as far as that run would be. So left there, came back to our first area, basically looked around. We stood up. In a few areas we found absolutely loaded with bedding fish. A lot of pairs, so males and females, and even some threesomes. I wanted to try a new bedding bait today it's that little uh, berkeley the champ crawfish looks great love the color especially for you know bed fishing i wanted to just hook one on it just to see what the bite felt like see if the hookup ratio with that bait was good and it didn't take long found a like a 16 17 incher and it just it, it bit it was easy to catch we ended up just searching and searching that whole back area and found a ton of bed fish you know a lot of i would say 15 to 18 inch fish but we did see a few real big ones so i'm talking maybe five to seven pound range i think we only found three of those they were on beds though and uh, we even marked i mean you can see on the graph here where we marked beds we even used a different icon we used like a gold icon for some of the, the big ones that we found trust me it was unbelievably difficult not to fish for those fish especially some of those giants i wanted to catch them so bad and today they were definitely biting and that's the thing with the delta one day can be completely different from the next we can come back in that same area on tournament day and they might not be biting that good or a lot of those fish might be gone you just don't know so it took a lot of restraint today to not actually fish and try to hook into those fish yeah i will make the next upload the tournament video itself which will be this area we'll go swinging for him try to catch him as best as we can uh, it's going to be a fun tournament some big numbers for sure will be put up so hopefully we can crack into a few of those giants back there let me know what you guys think about these uh these hour long or even 30 minute i can go back to the 30 minute videos of unedited footage or i can go longer let me know what you guys think in the comments below i do read all of them i try to get back to them as best as i can but uh i do uh definitely take it into consideration what you guys uh you know the feedback you guys give me on these videos so let me know what you think and Cross your fingers for me for this uh, upcoming tournament. We're definitely going to need some luck. We found the fish. Let's hope they bite. I'll catch you guys on tournament day.